Hello everybody, my name is Fred Herman and welcome to my channel. A good friend of mine, Andrew, contacted me this week and he expressed that he had an interest in learning how to record acoustic guitar or getting involved in recording acoustic guitars. The questions that followed were, what is the best interface, what would be the best microphones, etc, etc. Andrew then reached out to his network and got a couple of suggestions together. The next time we spoke, we quickly determined that a lot of the gear we discussed is gear that I already own. So I'm going to do a video demonstrating this gear for Andrew and for you. But before we get there, the intention is not to make a video that says that this microphone is better than that microphone. It is simply to show you how different microphones sound, how differently they record. The rules for this exercise are going to be as follows. The EQ the same on each track. No compression. Maybe a little bit of reverb as the only effect that I'm going to use. We're going to mic up the instrument the same way each time round. So basically what happens, the mic placement will be the same for each take, same distance away from the instrument, and I'm going to be playing the same piece of music at the same tempo as best as I can for you guys to hear the differences in these microphones. Without any further ado, let's introduce to you what we're going to be using tonight. So the first item I'm going to show you is this. This is an Audient ID14 and it is a high performance USB audio interface. I've had this unit since 2016. This is really affordable. It has pristinely clear preamps, great conversion, a rugged design and it just travels easily. The first microphone I want to show you is this. This is the Lewitt LCT340 and this is a uh, small diaphragm condenser. The next microphone <coughs> requires no introduction. It is the legendary Shure SM57. The next is the legendary Rode NT1A. Probably the singer-songwriter's go-to choice because you get a good microphone, you get a pop filter, a shock mount and a cable so it is a great all-round solution. And the last item are the microphones on this zoom camera of mine. So this is a, a handy video recorder that has these two microphones that are inbuilt in an X, XY configuration so it gives you a stereo recording. And um, yeah I use this when I'm outside in the garden or when I'm traveling and I want to get ideas down. Great wonderful tool. All right, give me a few minutes to set up and um, I'll be right back with you. Hey, you know that you're not allowed in the studio. So don't purr at me or lovingly and everything else. No cats in the studio. Your affinity for my soundproofing panels is just too much. Thank you. 
you've made it this far. And in that case, I'm saying thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please drop us a comment or if you've got something erudite to say about these microphones, I'm very curious to hear what you have to say. Secondly, the guitar I used, this is a Lindsay Marcus Grand Auditorium. Um, it has an Alaskan spruce top on Madagascan rosewood back and sides and it has this beautiful flame binding and this headstock is just, look at that, isn't that crazy? The tune I played is Wayfaring Stranger. It is an old traditional. The tuning is D A D F A D, which is open D minor. And if you're interested, I can forward you the link. Just drop me a comment as to where you can find the tab for the whole thing. And to sum things up, you know, we're a very privileged generation. 30 years ago, one couldn't even dream of being able to record something in a spare room in your home. We really are a generation that has affordable tools to have a lot of fun with and of course professionally to employ. So it's definitely something to remember uh, you know, to be humbled by that. And in lieu of that, in these crazy times we're living in at the moment, may I ask of you guys to stay at home, be safe and where possible support your local businesses. Economies around the world are taking a hammering and there are a lot of people that are suffering so if you can help please do so other than that no matter where you are in the world thank you very much for watching this is fred signing off take care